Hi, Questers, and welcome to this week's episode of The Weekly Wrap-Up, the show where we talk about the latest Oculus Quest news and updates from the past week. It's been a super slow week for Quest news in the wake of Oculus Connect 6 next week. The only thing to really report is that OC6 starts next Wednesday. It'll be interesting to see what happens and what kind of announcements will be made regarding the Quest. Personally, I'm hoping for some feature edition announcements as well as some large game announcements, but only time will tell. Keep an eye on the channel next week for a recap video to go over anything new coming to the Quest. When it comes to game announcements, it's been pretty dry this week as well. Dash Dash World released its first gameplay footage yesterday for the upcoming Combat Kart Racer, and I have to say, it looks fantastic. Next week, I'll be releasing an exclusive first look at the gameplay as I test it out. Gadgeteer was just added onto the Quest Store as coming soon with a release date listed of October 24th. Gadgeteer is a physics-based puzzle game that released on PC VR earlier in the year, so if you're a fan of solving physics puzzles or creating your own huge contraptions, then keep an eye out for this game. When it comes to new releases this week, we had a few. First off, Cave Digger Riches was released this week. Cave Digger is a mining simulator where you upgrade your equipment and search for treasure in a mining shaft and by train. If you want to know more about the game, then check out my review in the description. Also released this week was Tribe XR DJ School, a fully functioned professional mix deck all in VR. You can import your own music and even invite friends to listen or check out the DJ School to learn how to up your DJing game. Lastly, this week also saw the release of Wands, the magic-based online multiplayer game. Wands was a huge hit on the go, and so far from what I've heard from others, it's going to be popular on the Quest as well. I'm currently working on a review for the game, and I hope to have it out early next week. For upcoming game releases, the only game we know that is coming out next week is the stealth action game Aspire 1, which is good enough for me. I can't wait to get my hands on this game and try it out. It looks pretty incredible. Also, next month is officially Quest-tober here on BMF, and we're excited to celebrate all things Halloween and horror by featuring some of the best current and upcoming horror experiences and content available on the Quest. Plus, there might just be a few giveaways to be had, so stay tuned for Quest-tober. And if you happen to be a game dev of a horror game and you want to have your experience featured for Quest-tober, then drop me a line at the email address in the description. Now, for the time you've all been waiting for, the five randomly drawn winners of the five real VR fishing quest keys. The first winner is Theodore Ireland. Next up, we have Larry Legend. Number three is David Bick. Four is the 007 Post. And finally, Tom Dolan. Congratulations to all the winners. To get your key, please send an email over to the address listed in the description. That's all the news and updates I have this week. For more Oculus Quest content, check out my other videos here and here. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Oculus Quest content on BMF. I will see you next week and happy questing.